Hey, Mark from Whole Latte Love. Morgan's with me. Hi, Mark. What are we going to look at today? So today we've got two grinders from Breville. We have the Dose Control Pro and the Smart Grinder Pro. Now, there were previous versions of these that were not Pro models. They've made a few changes uh, to make the grinders a little better. Um, so let's talk about these, what they're for, what they're going to be good at, that kind of thing. Um, so both can do espresso. They'll both be able to do a range right from drip right up to... Um, espresso. Now there's usually about $50 in price separating these with the Smart Grinder Pro being a little bit more. Um, both have 60 grind settings. On the uh, Dose Control Pro you're going to do it like you would uh, like on a Baratza grinder. You'll turn the hopper. Okay. See the numbers on there? Yeah, and what I like about um, these Breville grinders is that they actually label, you know, drip, percolator, yeah. espresso. They kind of let you know what range you should be in. Yeah, so now a little different over on the Smart Grinder Pro. You have a dial on the side, and of course we have the screen here as well. Mm -hmm. So you can see I'm just turning the dial here, and then you get numbers in the screen. And you'll see, but you do have those, those ranges up in there for espresso, drip, go down to perk, and then all the way over to press. And you also can do programmable times on this. We'll get into that in a minute. Um, the uh, Dose Control Pro grinds by time. It's not programmable, so you just choose the amount of time you want to grind for here, anywhere from zero up to 50 seconds. Now, you can also set this, you can just press the button and press again to stop. So, you know, if you're not sure how long you want to grind, just set it to a high time, press the button, press when you want to stop. I want to take a look inside. Notice the, uh, the height differences here. Uh, what was it? We're 13 inches high on the Dose Control Pro, 15 and a quarter up to here on the Smart Grinder Pro. So if you have overhanging cabinetry, these will be under. Uh, you want to be aware of that. Most, usually that's 18 inches. Shouldn't really be a problem. Um, so let's take the hopper off. Notice that we have some nice seals on the lids here. Um, keep your beans fresh. Keep your beans fresh. They also both have locking hoppers. Now on this one, on the uh, dose control, it's, uh, what was it? That was 12 ounce, a 12 ounce hopper. So you notice we've got this, so when it positively locks in, another nice thing it does, it also seals it off. So if you have beans in there, you can close it, remove it, the beans won't spill out. Mm. Now let's take a look at the, uh, the burrs here. It's a hardened stainless conical burr. Um, and it comes out, the top burr comes out very easily. There's a good look at it. It's the same burr in both grinders. Now in addition to the 60 grind settings you have, and both of them have that easily accessible, you can also do coarser adjustments in here. So if you, know, if you have to go to a really different range, you've got 10 adjustments in here, and this is the same on both. So you take this little clip off, like so, and then you turn this, and I know it's gonna be kinda hard to see here. Yep, so it's uh, got 10 different adjustments in there. Yeah. And I think the default is six, yeah. so if you're not getting what you want from the 60 grind settings, you can go in there and adjust that, and they recommend doing that just one notch at a time. Yeah. So it effectively gives you 600 different grind settings, really, with this grinder. Um, not that that means much, because some of those may be really, really uh, different. Like, they, like you said, you, know, you only change one at a time. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm going to get that locked in there properly. Drop it in, give it a little twist. There so, yeah, the bean hopper difference is pretty significant, I yeah. guess. But 12 ounces on the Breville Dose Control Pro, and you can hold 16 ounces of beans on the, um, the Smart Grinder Pro. Right. Um, they also both come with portafilter cradles, and you've got, you've got two. Both will come with two, one for the standard 58 millimeter portafilter, one for 50 to 54 millimeter portafilters, which a lot of Breville machines have that smaller size. Um, if you're a regular commercial machine, so you just put that in, it kind of comes in, there's a little uh, connection here, so they positively kind of lock in there, and then it can hold your portafilter just like that. Mm -hmm. It's very nice, so you can just hit the button, you can walk away if you want. Um, again, over here on the Smart Grinder Pro, you have the same sort of thing, two, two of the portafilter holders. I'm gonna put the 58 in here. And what you also see is you've got a little start uh, button back here. So if you bump in, and this is pretty common on a lot of grinders, and I'll do it here just so you, so you just, and it'll start the grinder. And then automatically stop. And if you wanted to just get a little bit more or something, if you just press and hold, it'll just go as long as you press and hold. So that's kind of nice. Yeah. So you can do manual grinding on the, um, the Smart Grinder Pro. 
Yeah. Where you can't do that on the, the Dose Control Pro. Now, one really neat thing, uh, much more programmable on the Smart Grinder Pro. So it, when we're in like one of the other than espresso ranges, um, so like here it's indicating press, it's going to grind for 4.2 seconds. Now I can tell it how many cups I want to do, and then it automatically adjusts the time. So same thing as we, and you can have a, a different time for press, perk, drip, and espresso. So if we go, so in perk, we can tell uh, the same thing. So we see how the time changed there. Mm -hmm. Then as I change the number of cups, it'll increase the grind time. Now, if you are doing drip coffee or other uh, brewing methods other than espresso, and you're not going to grind into a porta filter, you can remove that cradle. And this one also comes with this nice container. Um, so you can grind right into this, got a little hole on the top. Once you ground, you can seal it up. So you place this under, and we will grind on these in just a moment. So you can, so you place that under there. It'll grind right into here. You'll get an indication of you know, how much is in there. Yeah, it comes with some other extras too, right? Oh yeah. The little, the other little thing that this one has is the brush. So the regular maintenance on a grinder generally is remove that top burr, kind of brush things out. Um, you also have these nice. I really like the tray on this one. So when you're grinding for espresso, there's always going to be a little spill. So you can take this out dump it, and it's got a little magnetic holder, so it kind of goes in there positively. Uh, you, have this, you have one of those over here. It's a little different on the Dose Control Pro. It doesn't have as much of a back edge to it, so, you know, it's going to spill over a little bit. Um, then also on that Dose Control Pro, they have hidden in here little Breville's little razor dosing tool. So you'd use this, you'd fill your porta filter, and then you can kind of do one of these. Now, honestly, I've never used that, but uh, you could, mm -hmm. and you can adjust the uh, depth of that as well. And it does come with sizes for 54 and 58 millimeter for that. But kind of neat they put the little storage in there. Yeah. I like Breville's little touches like that. One of my favorites, you know, it sounds kind of silly, but are the plugs. They have, they call them the assist plugs. I think every plug should be like that, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you can get them in and out real easy, easily. So very nice. Um, so should we grind? Yeah, let's do a little grinding. Oh, one other difference on these, um, on the... Dose, Dose Control Pro, thank you. <laughs> 130 watts on the motor, and on the Smart Grinder Pro, 165 watts on the motor. Also, look around the outside. Plastic here and here on this one, a little bit of brushed metal up here. And then as you move up to the Smart Grinder Pro, you've got metal all the way around except for up here. So everything here is that brushed metal finish. So let's get some beans in there. And just so you can hear these guys and maybe see, you know, what the grind looks like. I like that little finger hook on that as, there as well. So grinding in the porta filter. Uh, so you set it, I don't know, we'll grind for like about 10 seconds here. And I'm gonna go down to, I'll go to the very finest setting right out of the box here. We'll see what we get. In 10 seconds. So there's the very finest setting right out of the box, and that is pretty darn fine mm -hmm. and, and looks nice. Now, I'm curious just to see right out of the box if we go all the way to the course setting up here. I'm going to get rid of some of that fine stuff. And that, that grinds relatively quickly. Now, to me, that's even a little chunkier maybe than I'd use for a cold press, but um, grinds, grinds pretty fast. Um, now let's go over to this one. I'm making a big mess on the table here. I okay. <laughs> uh, get my 58 millimeter. Oh, that's 50 to 54, so we'll slide this in. And we're going to go all the way to the finest setting again, right out of the box. And so you can program a time here. It's pretty easy. So if I wanted to do, say, one shot, and I want it to grind for five seconds. So I adjust that, press and hold. It beeps, now it's, now it's stored that time. So no matter where I go in the espresso range, I'm gonna get five seconds for that. If I change to two shots, you can see it, it does a little bit more than doubling the time there. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, that's by design. But I'm gonna put it just to one shot here. And so now just listen and we'll get, oh, and I'll just start it just, I could start it right up front here on this button or I can just press in.
I'm going to get a little bit more. It takes a little bit for it to get down into the throat of the grinder here. So we're going to do one more. I don't know if you can hear a real difference between the two. That's it's a little, a little quieter on the yeah. smart grinder. Though. So again, pretty darn fine there. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's... Yeah, both do a, a good job with getting really fine espresso. And like you said, that was just out of the box settings. Yeah. And there's a lot of room to play with there. So I'm gonna go all the way up to its coarsest setting and we'll try the little we'll try the little grinds container here. So I'll pop out the cradle, put the grinds container in. And let's see, let's do eh, we'll do three cups. And we'll just press the start button. You see you get the countdown here. It's kind of a handy feature, you know, if you change the amount of coffee you brew on a regular basis, being able to just press the button and tell it how much you want. So there's, there's kind of our grind on the coarsest setting right out of the box. And again, like we showed you on that top burr, if that's not coarse enough or if you're an espresso not fine enough, you can go and change, pull out that top burr and make some other adjustments to get coarser and or finer. Okay. So. Here we go. We got the Dose Control Pro. Again, these are the Pro models. There are non-Pro models that are probably still available in places. Dose Control Pro and the Smart Grinder Pro, both by Breville. Oh, one thing I would mention, um, you know, these are, uh, what should I say, not real expensive, actually, in comparison to some other available grinders. One thing to keep in mind, if you're doing lots and lots and lots of grinding, the, the motors in these are a little less powerful than what you find in some other grinders that may cost a little bit more. So if you're grinding a lot, um, you want to be careful, especially if you're using very dark roasted beans or beans that tend to maybe have a little oils on them. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks, Mark. And those are both available at wholelattelove.com. That's right. Thanks for watching. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy, free access to more videos on everything coffee brought to you by wholelattelove.com.